Being a wide receiver in Madden 23 face of the franchise is a lot of fun and can be extremely rewarding when you play the role correctly. If you want to succeed as a wide receiver, you'll need a good build with a set of abilities that are going to complement your playstyle. Fortunately, in Madden 23, you can switch up your build very easily, so it's a matter of trial and error to see which suits how you want to play the best. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best wide receiver builds in Madden 23. One thing to note before we get into it, unfortunately you are quite limited in terms of what skills you can have, meaning that for each of these builds, they'll all be the same. You can level up certain skills before others if you're trying to go for a certain playstyle early on, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just be going through the abilities and physiques. If you want to go long as a wide receiver and be on the end of Hail Mary passes, then you'll want to go with the Long Receives build. For this, you'll want to choose the Agile Physique and have the following abilities. Most as your X Factor, then Deep Out Elite, Red Zone Threat, Jump, and Spectacular Catch. When using this build, the majority of calls will be fly calls, but other calls like post, corners, and slants can also work. Since Face of the Franchise now plays on player lock mode, you'll be able to run freely without any restraints, meaning you can make runs wherever you like and call for the ball. This build works well with this as you're able to lose your coverage and find space in the deep field, knowing that you have the catching skills to receive the pass. The downside to this though is that you'll have to manually lose your man and find that space, which can be tricky in the short amount of time you have to do so. If you're running a route and see that there's traffic ahead, you're going to have to judge whether or not you can afford to call for the pass. 9 times out of 10, if you call for the pass, your quarterback is going to try and find you, which is why you take the jump rating on this build instead of speed, so you can make contested catches more often. You also have Deep Out Elite, which will help you make those catches more frequently as well. If you're catching in the red zone, which you more than likely will be, your reception rate is increased. If you're going for a more well-rounded build that doesn't particularly excel in one thing, but allows you to play successfully in a variety of ways, you should go for this one. You'll want to select the Agile Physique and then the Yakim Up X Factor. As for the rest of the abilities, you'll want Mid in Elite, slot -matic, Speed, and then Catching or Catching Traffic. This build's strengths are heavily focused on creating space and catching the ball in a 15 to 30 yard range. The Yakim Up X Factor increases your chance of wriggling out of a tackle after making the catch. This is especially useful as you'll always need to slow down to make that catch, no matter where you are on the field, which allows defenders to get closer to you. If you can take that first hit and not go down, you should be able to build your momentum back up again and gain some yards. The slot o -matic ability will help you catch shorter passes, which you'll be doing a lot with this build. It's by no means the most glamorous way to play, but once you've received the ball short, it's up to you to make the most of it, which is why you can either use the catching or catching traffic ability to make sure you hold onto the ball and are able to gain those extra yards. If running with the ball is your favourite way to play as a wide receiver, then you should give our runner build a go. Of course, you'll want to choose the Agile Physique for this one, as you'll need all of the speed that you can get. Then for abilities, choose the Rack'em Up X Factor, Deep in Elite, Grab and Go, Speed, and Catching or Catching Traffic. This will be vital for you, as the entire premise of the runner is to beat your man and, of course, run. Deep in Elite will also help you catch those passes and make those runs as well, so these two abilities go hand in hand. Grab and Go boosts your ability to juke the defenders after making the run after catch. You can add in some dead legs and spins if you like, but with the speed this build possesses, all you need sometimes is a quick change of direction to leave the defender in the dirt. If this video helped you choose your wide receiver build, then you'll definitely find the video on screen now useful as well.